This mystery player just keeps adding names to the checklist. We saw in the previous video that I do recommend checking out if you haven't seen it. Him playing against Yan, Rawas, and Jorias. And now today, we are going to have Faisal playing against Rettles, Khaled, and Nass. And we're actually going to go Rettles, Nass, Khaled in that order. And this is a replay from when Rettles was in EU. If you take a look at the scoreboard, you see that 88 ping for Faisal, but 24 for Rettles. It's because he was in Copenhagen for the major when this 1v1 was played. And we could see he was looking to get Mechie a little bit, at least, at the start of this one. Unfortunately, he finds himself down 2-0, or fortunately, depending on if you're rooting for Faisal, who has seemed to have uploaded a ton of his 1v1 games recently and has quite the list of opponents that he has been able to put good games up against. In fact, if you go and look at his replays, it is a nice air trouble reset into bump. Of course, Rettles going to find a way to make a bump play work in ones. But either Faisal, who is right around... 30 on the leaderboards right now is on quite the run and is, you know, winning 95% of his games as he packs off this and is able to score a follow-up. Or he's uploading maybe only his wins or mostly his wins. I'm not sure which one it is. Either way, it's pretty impressive. Even if there are a couple losses to go with every one of these games, and there are a couple losses from Faisal on ball chasing, he has a really good resume of wins that nobody in the top 100 could get consistently you know if i listed all these players off and had somebody play against all of them there is not a good chance they'd be able to come out as ahead as faisal has been able to oh that's i thought for a second that was gonna be a sick 180 wave dash off the bump but didn't work out that way not as quick of a recovery as it needed to be as Reddles able to tie it up Reddles is a guy who has been playing a lot of good rocket league recently and i think some people are maybe expecting him to be, you know, a little bit less mechy than he really is. But from what I've seen from him in ones and, and in this game, he is definitely keeping his game as fresh as possible. Right now, he finds himself down one, but he's in the right place on EU servers, grinding ones. Is there any better place to work on your individual game? I think it's hard to argue against it as Reddles decides to take this one in the air. And Faisal will dunk it off the top of his car. You saw that threaten of the ceiling challenge there for a moment before returning back to the back wall for Faisal. And I mean, he is just going to boom the ball near the net. And it's one of these things that looking at these replays of him playing, it almost seems like he's not doing anything too crazy. But what you have to realize is that hitting those shots with that level of perfection, you know, around the net is not something that defenders can handle over a long period of time and regardless of how prepared you are it is it's been good enough from Faisal to give himself some wins but it's gonna be an air dribble bump from Reddle so far he's been relying and I want to say relying actually he's been utilizing the bump game very well here in ones no surprise as he's known to utilize the bump game in threes as well as Faisal that's just textbook ones play a little bounce dribble waiting till the ball got out into the midfield where it became very threatening to shoot on that left side of the net. Reynolds has no choice but to kind of creep out. Otherwise, if he doesn't, Faisal just will roll it in or just take that shot on the left post and it'll be undefendable. But if he does creep out like he needs to, it leaves the availability to go behind him. And that's exactly what Faisal did. And that's the kind of pressure and um, consistency that we've seen from him. Another bump play from Reynolds. <laughs> How has he managed to just make this a complete bump fest here in ones. It's hard to say because that was especially a, a tougher one to grab off the back wall. But it is now only a 6-5 lead for Faisal. A super high scoring game as these guys having a tough time stopping each other after they gain a first possession off kickoff. And here is another opportunity off kickoff. And Reddles is able to convert it. Make it 6-6. Six, six, just six seconds past halftime as we go to a straightaway kickoff and Reddles another big kickoff win a little reset pop is he gonna bump Faisal again it seems like he got just enough it didn't go in immediately but the follow-up is there and Reddles a conversion on the kickoff I'll tell you what this game is very much about the kickoffs seemingly neither one of them can find a way to stop each other so if you get first possession you get a goal and Reddles got first possession so he got a goal 8-6 as they had to vie for control there for a moment. 
And we'll head to a diagonal. Is anybody going to really mix up their kickoff? Throw in any big variety? It doesn't seem like it. They're going to continue to try and win on these standards. And wave dash kickoffs, which really, both of them nowadays have become almost standard. I think forever we'll refer to, you know, the flipping into the ball kickoff as standard. Considering it was there for so long. But now in one the ones game, I mean, it's basically 50-50 for those who are playing it. Lots of wave dash kickoffs. These guys can afford to even throw in more mix-up considering how this game is gone. And now it's 8-8 eight, eight, and how it's about to be yet another kickoff play that goes in favor of Faisal and eventually is scored. And it's not necessarily the very first play either. These guys are often finding themselves, you know, on opposite. There we go. Finally from Reddles, a delay kickoff. He's had enough of immediate goals. He at least mixed it up slightly. And he has bought himself a moment here after Faisal getting possession. In fact, look at that. Reddles has full-on survived the kickoff by finally mixing it up and going for a delay. You'll love to see that. This time the air dribble bump, though, is not going to work. You'll have to take this to the side wall. And let's see... What do those mechs have in store from us? Reddles, a little reset, and a late use of the front flip is not a bad way to score. As Faisal gets a touch on it, but not enough to stop it, and it's 9-9 for the minute 20. Are these both going to be able to see double digits here in a kickoff heavy ones game? As Faisal steals this boost, he's not going to be too bummed about getting bumped here because he knows possession is in store for him. And he's actually going to decline the opportunity to try and attack back on Reddles from the sidewall dribble. He says, no, I want I want you to meet me down here on the ground. This is where I feel most comfortable, and that's where we've seen Faisal doing most of his great work. And he's not going to have an opportunity to set this one up on the wall, even if he wanted to, as Reddles chasing him down. And Oh my goodness, the pre-flip off the back wall to touch that one in. I almost feel like we got to watch it again real quick, because that was pretty nasty. From Reddles' perspective this time, that's a great touch. Maybe you guys uh, went back and watched it yourself anyway, so now you get to watch it three times. But either way, Faisal with a lead. 10-9 with 45 seconds left to go and a super kickoff heavy 1v1. And that kickoff has actually gone in favor of Faisal. But I think one of the reasons why it's gone the way it has is because both players have been very aggressive. And this time, Reddle's much more passive after losing the kickoff, willing to except the fact that he's going to have to back off. And now he's got himself a full-on possession to try and tie this game. And a really good first-touch pop as Faisal decided to dive in and fake challenge. He just barely wasn't able to get over the top of him. Now a bump play almost certainly. Yeah, knowing Reddles, he's going to go for the demo, unfortunately. He bumped the ball away and got the most unlucky spawn you could ask for. Faisal spawns near the ball and is able to instantly break up the play. doesn't matter. Still one more chance for Reddles. Is he going to go air dribble bump? No, he tries to go over the top. And Faisal is able to clear it away. I actually don't mind that mix-up from Reddles. After a full game of bump, 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 sometimes you could see defenders try and go underneath. They try and go underneath the bumps and then get back up to uh, to clear. And if Faisal were to do that, he'd be exposed to a powerful back wall double because he'd be too low to not make the play. He'd miss that touch. And uh, unfortunately for Reddles, Faisal saw it coming. So anyways, that was the game against Reddles. A nice 10-9 win for Faisal. Let's go ahead and watch him against the maybe the best 1v1 on EU servers right now, Nas. Game number two of this replay. Remember, we're also going to be watching Khaled. Actually, interesting use of the flip, or I shouldn't say flip, but the you know jump that he had to roll and push himself down. If you guys haven't, by the way, subscribed, we're currently on the race to 100 thousand subscribers to get the nice YouTube plaque before the end of the year. And currently, you guys have me ahead, so I appreciate you guys. We are on pace, but if you want to keep us on pace, feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it a lot, but we'll get back in to this match between Nas and Faisal as Faisal heads to the skies. A rarity so far from what we've seen from him. He does go for the reset into ground pinch. Now Nas, he is no stranger to attacking through the air as you don't become the best ones player on EU servers right now without being able to hit everything in the ones game. Now, I say he's the best on EU servers. I know a lot of people are probably going to be saying Rawas. I think Rawas is a little bit inactive. Uh, he did play really well on EU servers around the major time. And I'm certain if he were to play a little bit more, he'd be contending with Nas again. But I think the last time it was a real competition where everyone was involved. you got to give Nas his credit. He did take the win. And he has been a little bit more active in the coming days since Salt Mine 3. 
But right now, he's having a tough time scoring against Faisal. He's going to retreat into his back corner and take this the whole distance of the field. Has a reset. Actually, didn't get the pre-flip touch that I think he wanted. If he rotated a little bit more before touching the ball, he would have gotten a powerful shot, but he got his wheels on it. Killed it. Dropped it into Faisal. Trying to get the counterattack. I shouldn't just say trying. It looks like he is getting the counterattack on Faisal's flick. And we actually watched the previous video, Faisal kind of dissecting everybody with his flicks and showing how effective they can be. I think one of the downsides that we didn't really see from his game in those matches is if you're not hitting great flicks and you're just hitting mediocre flicks, you're going to get counterattacked by good defenders, especially a guy like Nass. And I wouldn't even say that, that flick was that poor. Yeah, it still turned into a goal for Nass. And now Nass trying to go for a freestyle type setup. It cost him a ton of boost to get this dribble going, but he actually still wins the midfield 50. Not going to be able to pre-flip and score his goal as Faisal uses all of his boost to try and get this ball moving quickly. Which means he's going to find himself back in his own corner. Nass plays it around. Wants a little dish off the back wall. We just saw an amazing dish off the back wall in the previous game. But Nass is not going to be able to recreate the magic as Faisal will make it 3-1. Certainly a lot more midfield play in this game compared to the Reddles game. As kickoffs have gone more neutral, Nass is going to turn on ball and put one on target. Just buy him a bit of time as Faisal does a good job taking all the boost on that left side of the field. Nass still manages to find himself a possession a floating pre-jump by Faisal, and Nass does not punish. No shot at any moment comes from Nass. I think if he could have gotten the ground pinch or any sort of landing shot, Faisal could have been in trouble, but he completely lost control. So there will be no punish. Full zap dash from Nass as Faisal goes to the air. A little pass to himself off the ceiling. This time the ground pinch is on target and in. Nass was thinking about defending high, and ultimately returned to the ground and overshot it. I think some people in the comments were talking about in the previous match, just so you guys know, I do read the comments. They were saying that they'd be surprised if Faisal could find as much success in a series. And I do think that there is something to be said about that, ranked versus series. And one thing that I would say I notice from Faisal is, you know, a unwillingness to play through the air. And at the top level, especially in show matches, your ground game We'll get red over time, and unless you're moxie level perfect with it, you have to sprinkle in some ability in the air like Nass has right here on his air dribble and flick off to the post and in. Placement doesn't get much better than that as he brings himself within one, and now a fake kickoff, which is another big thing over the course of an entire series is the mix-up of kickoffs. Sometimes you can have a good kickoff in the first couple minutes, get away with it, get a game. But you have to keep it going for the rest of the entire series as that player adjusts to you. But to be honest, right now, Faisal is actually just doing it through defense against you know, one of the better attackers. Nass is a guy who likes his counterattacks. He doesn't mind having to play defense and play from there. But right now, he's actually doing the opposite. He's playing mostly from offense. And it's Faisal who's been forced to get stops and turnarounds. It's right now... Faisal earning self-possession in the midfield and just a neat flick to the top right. Not, not even quite top right. I shouldn't even say that because it's about middle of the net. But the point is it's behind Nass. It's behind his car and it's in the perfect spot to not allow him to make a play in a booming midfield shot. Those are special and you don't see them super often. And the top players, though, will be able to find ways to get past defenders with just a really strong touch. You know, I dare anybody else to try and catch Nass off guard with just a power shot. You really have to get a lot of heat on it. If you want to be able to score with those, Faisal. Showing some levels and showing some really solid ones ground game, I would say. As he looks to avoid Nass on the retreat here. Can't get the angle. He's got a four goal lead, the double demo. I mean, that just about secures the game, if you ask me. Nass. Does seem like he's going to continue to try and bring it back. Faisal's one air dribble bump away from a win, but Nass turns and dives. Something that Faisal maybe should have seen coming because, oh, what a save. I'm oh, sorry, I have to go back. <laughs> what was this save? Oh, he bounced off the post. I don't know if he did that on purpose, 
but that's actually genius as a way to stop his momentum and then be able to flip into the ball. I I'm sorry if you guys didn't want to watch this a thousand times, but he overshot it. I mean, he might have just done this completely on accident, but it almost looked like he intentionally stopped his momentum and then got going back the other way and let his backflip move him forward instead of kill his momentum, which is what it would have done if he was still moving in that direction. But either way, Nas is going to score on him. That might have been a very creative way to save. So I wanted to highlight there for a second. But I do think he still has this win, despite the fact that he allowed Nas to get in. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, wasting precious moments with saves like that, even though Nas did eventually score. He is just going to rush this ball in and basically hope that he's able to 50 it, and he does. So actually, five seconds left to go. And maybe I'm wrong about the fact that Faisal hasn't figured out. Because he doesn't seem to be able to stop this late surge, but he predicted that delay kickoff and chipped it up, and Nas actually looked like he tried to own goal, but it didn't go in. So, Faisal adding Nas, adding Rettles. Can he add Khaled to the list of wins he's gotten in ranked? I think at this point, we'll have to get Faisal in for a show match at some point. I often talk to players who would like to play in show matches, and I try and just tell them, you know, for the most part, getting the highest rated in ones as you possibly can is the best way to show that you're ready to compete against these top players in show matches. But even if Faisal wasn't top 30, which I think he is right now, if you, you could also show a win against Khaled, Nas, Rawas, Yan, Jorias, and uh, Rettles, and I think that that would also be a good way to show that you might be ready for a show match against somebody. But to be fair, he may not get a win against Khaled. We'll have to see how this game ends. He started it up 1-0 with a solid flick. And that is something we can tell he has in his game. As Khaled, the legend of ones. I don't know if you guys have him as one of the ones goats. It definitely seems like if we're to compare it to RLCS, where there was, you know, the open era and the non-open era, where Turbo is be the forever goat of the pre-open era. I almost feel like once has had its open era as well as a flick will go in. I feel like Fairy Peak is the undisputed goat of the pre-open era, but you know, once the tournament started, Khaled is the guy who took over and seemed to be at the top. I think there's an argument for Khaled to be made, if you're asking me. But once is ever evolving, and now a demo, and Faisal is able to make it 3-1. Certainly, at any point in time, getting a win over a guy like Khaled has to feel good, especially considering, I imagine, many Mina players looked up to Khaled as he paved the way for Mina alongside Ahmad, especially in ones. Faisal wants to dive here and win this corner boost. He does at the cost of his life. And now what will Khaled do with... Only a couple boosts to work with. He wanted to stay on the ball. He didn't want to just give it up, you know, retreat to another corner and try and grab 100. It would be a very lackluster end result for his demo. But he still wasn't able to find much as he dove out to the midfield. Now he's going to wave dash and attempt to challenge, but got nothing. And then found himself on the wrong side of the ball with no boost. Although, not exactly sure that boost would have saved him anyways. As he was very far out of the play. A kickoff win for Faisal Khaled. Able to backflip challenge and break that up. As he now looks to try and get himself a possession, but too high of a touch. He popped the ball up on the side wall. He wanted to be able to turn back and make a play on it. Faisal recognized there was room to come and challenge and actually just wins out over the top of Khaled. Direct kickoff goal, yes. So Khaled, a much needed goal. A game that's looking like could start slipping in Faisal's way. Faisal, another kickoff win. Khaled backing off. A refreshing change from the Reddles game where both players just went all in on every kickoff. What a save on the air dribble bump. Managing to not let Khaled score. Showing the shadow defense, recognizing though Khaled didn't have an on-car dribble. He's very susceptible to that low challenge. Not likely to be able to get a bunch of height, but Khaled will pop this ball and get himself a goal from beyond the grave as he gets his third. 
interesting kickoff from Faisal. I've seen a few people mess around with this. Early single jump into the ball so that they're landing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can't really talk about the kickoff much when he hits something like that. Samario play, and it's an essential. It's, it's essential, and he's shown that he has it at least here and there. And as long as he can produce that at any sort of consistency, then he can keep defenders guessing. And right now he's been able to just stay away from Khaled or keep ahead of him as he chases him down. But as I was talking about, maybe we'll see it again on the kickoff. It's a really early single jump before you get to the ball so that your wave dash kickoff lands you even faster. It's almost like you already have downward momentum when you finally make contact. Then you dash away 8-3. I think we might have just seen a teleporting out of the game Khaled there. Yeah, so... 8-3 with two minutes left to go. Khaled had had enough. Faisal. Uh, or Faisal. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how to say it. I think his, his name is Faisal, but his nickname here, um, F-Soul, might be F Faisal. I'm sure I'll get it right at some point. I try my best. I have fun. But Faisal, man, I, I might have leaked it there that he was going to get the win against Khaled, but he got the win against all six of these ones players, and he is looking like a force to be reckoned with. We'll definitely have to get him in show matches sooner rather than later.